This episode of the Old Dogs REI Network is brought to you by Mino Studio. Welcome to the Old Dogs REI Network, where cash flow is king. Real estate investing, the means, so you can enjoy your retirement dreams. This is the show where we cut right to the chase. No sales pitch, no long monologues, just simple how-to real estate investing advice, so you can earn the passive income you need to enjoy your retirement today. And now, your host and chief old dog, Bill Manasero. Hello? Old dogs, and welcome to Fun Facts Friday. This is our once a week, only on Friday show, where we have special episodes not featuring guests, where I will share tricks, tips, terminology, and techniques that will help skyrocket you to real estate investing success. Today's topic is the importance of knowing your why. Living in Haiti for 11 plus years, I can truly say, to quote Dickens, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. What we experienced during those amazing years was unlike anything I had ever experienced before or will likely experience in the future. We saw and experienced the most heartbreaking, heart-wrenching things imaginable. Yet we also experienced overwhelming joy, like I had never known or can adequately hope to explain to you especially in the short podcast. We witnessed the firsthand horrors, tragedies, and inconceivable struggles of the children we came to serve, those very special children who lived on the streets of Haiti and struggled day to day to survive. We had malaria and dengue fever. We experienced destructive, disastrous hurricanes, escaped kidnapping attempts, were shot at, saw and experienced death and destruction on a level that permanently etched in our memories as the result of one of the most devastating earthquakes in history, resulting in hundreds of thousands of deaths. We had personal trials like when my wife had cancer or children we cared for whose lives were snatched away way too early and so many other things that impacted our lives forever. And I don't share these things lightly. In fact, I don't even like to talk about it sometimes because sometimes People may come back and say, oh, that's amazing. What a good person you are. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. God did the work in Haiti and continues to do that work today. The point here is not so much what we did, but the point is why we did it. What motivated us? What brought us there? And even more, what kept us there during the most terrifying times? Now, as a believer, I must acknowledge that without God and his leading, we would never have gone nor come out of that the way we did. It was both an act of faith and his supernatural guidance that really lasted that 11 plus years. So to those who think I'm about to launch into a sermon, I'm not. I'm really just uh, trying to make a point here, an important point. We knew our why. And through thick and thin, it's what not only motivated and sustained us, it's what allowed us through God's grace to accomplish amazing things. There's no different, really, with anything that you set yourself out to do, especially when it's something where you may have fear, anxiety, or trepidation. Knowing your why is absolutely critical to not only keeping on track and overcoming obstacles, but to ultimately to accomplishing the goal you set out to achieve. Leadership expert Simon Sinek, the author of Start With Why, calls this thing the golden circle. He says that it's not enough to know what you do and how you do it. At our essence, we are most motivated by knowing why we do things. And it's through that awareness that we can best connect with others and influence others. When you know your why, your what has much more impact. So how does this translate into real estate investing? Well, Sinet's golden circle consists of three levels— why, how, and what. And I'll picture this. There's a circle, three circles. Okay. There's a, the small circle in the middle, the medium next to it, and the outside circle. And the outside circle is labeled what, the middle circle is how, and the innermost circle is why. He uses this to explain how some organizations or leaders can truly inspire where others cannot. The what is something everybody knows. They know what they have to do, right? 
the how is somehow that's that's really how you're going to do it and maybe do it better. Companies that could be stuff that would fall into their differentiating value proposition or proprietary process or your USP, as some call it, your unique selling proposition, what makes you different from your competitors. But very few people in organizations know their why. Why do they do what they do? And by why, we don't mean uh, the obvious thing. Well, we do this to make money. We're making a profit. We're generating cash flow. No, that's a result. By why, I mean, what's your purpose? What's your cause? What do you believe? Why does your organization exist? Why do you get out of bed in the morning? And why should anyone care, right? We go from the outside, our what, the clearest of the things that we do every day, to the why. But the inspired organization, inspired leaders, they work from the inside out. Now take a company like Apple. Everybody picks Apple because they're a company that's been very successful. They were like everyone else. Their message would be something like, we make great computers. They're beautifully designed. Okay, that's the what. Um, Simple to use and user-friendly. That's the how. Want to buy one? That's how most people and companies communicate. We say what we do, why we're different, and ask for action. Buy from us. Very uninspiring. But what has made Apple so successful is that they say, Everything we do, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The why. They start with the why. The way we challenge the status quo, they say, is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. That's the how. And we just happen to make great computers. The what. So they work conversely from how most other companies do. Then they ask you, do you want to buy one? They reverse the order from the inside out. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. And because people like Apple's why, the brand name they trust, okay? And so they're, they're not just buying laptops and desktop computers. They're buying iTunes, iPads, iPhones, iPods, TV sets, and more. While other leading computer companies like Dell, Gateway, They've tried to move into these other areas. They've had MP3 players. They've had televisions and so forth. And they haven't been successful at selling those products. People love their computers. They buy their computers. But they're not selling these other things. Because people don't buy from the outside in. They buy from the inside out. When you move from the inside out, you're talking about motivating behavior. This is where gut decisions are made. Sometimes people simply don't buy because it just doesn't feel right. If you don't know why, how can you hope to be motivated? Bringing it all home. When I was walking through the dirty, toxic streets of Haiti, where the smells alone can create a nauseous reaction in your stomach and air so thick from smoke and exhaust fumes that it's even difficult to see, I saw a little boy, maybe eight years old, curled up in the corner by the front door of a street side storefront building using a flattened cardboard box for a sheet cover, an empty two-liter soda bottle for a pillow, covered in layers of dirt and grease, wearing tattered torn shorts or ripped t-shirt, and having orange hair because he, he lacked the nutrition that provides the vitamins that put color in his hair. It hit me hard, very hard. For a moment I was breathless. But before I started to spiral and just get lost up in the hopelessness of this scene, I remembered my why. I didn't see hopelessness and despair. Instead, I saw a cleaned up, sharp dressed young man with a new haircut, walking forward in a graduation cap and gown, walking with confidence, accomplishment, hope, and faith that would propel him ahead to the next phase of his life. A good job, a wife, children, house, a car. A person who will become a light in his community. A light in the overwhelming darkness of Haiti. I saw my why as I approached him to see if he may find hope in our orphanage. It was my why that became my motivation and my hope. Some people, when they hear about my goal to acquire a thousand units by 2020, may think this is my why. But no, that's my how. 
and my what is real estate investing, but my inspiration is my why. That little boy in a cap and gown and tons of other little boys and girls just like him that may see their dreams become reality. It's my daughter's dream wedding. My son, grandson, granddaughter attending the college that they might not ever think of being able to go to. And other things like that that are at the real core of what really motivates us. Sometimes when I'm ready to crunch numbers, underwrite properties all day long, go off to an REI meeting, talk with a broker, negotiate with a seller, not always my favorite things, I pause. I see that young man or young woman's shiny, smiling face and cap and gown, my, my daughter in her wedding dress or whatever else. Why? touches my soul. And suddenly, it's easy to get motivated to do the what or how that's necessary to get to the why. What is your why? Do you really know why you are doing this crazy real estate thing? And do others see it? Do they know it? Take the time to really discover what your why is, and you'll be surprised at the difference it will make. Well, that's it for today. Please note, Old Dog listeners, everything presented here will be accessed in our show notes on the Old Dogs website at olddogsreinetwork.com forward slash blog. So until next time, remember, cash flow is king and real estate investing the means. Thanks again for listening and may God bless. Thank you very much for visiting the Old Dogs REI Network. We would greatly appreciate if you would stop by iTunes and let us know what you think of the show. We would love if you could subscribe to the podcast, give us a five-star rating, and write a review. The more ratings and reviews we receive, the more visible the podcast will be to others. Thank you.